How's it going today everybody and welcome back to my channel, Shaner's Mechanic Life. One of my pet peeves about working on these big trucks and trailers, or when you're servicing them and have a whole day's worth of work to do to them, by the end of the day, half your toolbox is scattered from bumper to bumper underneath the truck. So we had a, one of our shop carts had a bit of a whoopsie. So what I've decided to do so as you can see, I've cut the top off and I'm going to make a low profile tool cart out of it for rolling around underneath these trucks and trailers. So like I said, I've cut the top off it. I'm going to clean it up, paint it, and I've got some uh, caster wheels I'm going to put on it. And the uh, way I figure is uh, I can roll it around underneath there with all my tools and supplies on it keep everything organized and make the job go a lot quicker, a lot easier, and a lot less frustrating. I'm going to build this out of all stuff I've got kicking around at home and you know, in my toolbox and stuff like that. So it's going to be a cheap build that everybody can do at home. All you basically need is a metal tray or a top of a shop cart. Here we go. Okay, so I got all my casters marked and the holes drilled and they uh, give it a good scuff up remove all the paint it had some silicone and stuff like that on it so uh, the new paints not going to stick to that too well so what I'm going to use first coat I'm going to give it some rubberized undercoating made sure I got some paintable stuff so I'll spray this down and then uh, some color over top so I'm going to give it a healthy layer of the undercoating flip it over once it's dry and then do the other side and then we'll hit it with some paint okay I've sprayed it with some rubberized rocker guard to make the finish a little more durable and then a couple coats of primer to help make the paint stick better so now it's uh, time to hit it with some color I'm gonna go with some red and on uh, the inside of it I'm gonna go black okay I decided to paint it red as you can see and then uh, on the other side where the actual tools would be stored I uh, decided to go with black so I'm gonna rivet the casters on and then give the inside another coat to cover up the, ca uh, the rivets and then uh, we'll start getting it set up to work underneath everything so I guess now is the time where you find out if uh, I measured out and drilled my holes right as if uh, this caster actually goes on Hopefully everything lines up here. Don't want to drill any more holes than you have to. And it looks like we're good. Everything seems to line up well. And I'll rivet it from the other side. I'll tell you right now, if uh, you guys do any riveting, you know, pay the money, get a pneumatic rivet gun. It's so much easier on your hands than doing it manually. Or I noticed. Uh, Milwaukee's got one out for their cordless, so I was kind of wondering if any of you guys have that one. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section. See how easy it is? You don't have to squeeze it or nothing. You just pull the trigger. First one seats it. Second one pulls it in and snaps it. Definitely makes life a lot easier. Yeah. There's your caster. Now I just gotta do it three more times and we'll be rolling. And we've got a roller. I just slapped a fresh coat of black paint on the inside to seal up and cover the rivets, make it look a little bit nicer. So I'll load it up with some more tools and parts and see how it works. Well everybody, it's jobs like this is why I built this low profile tool cart. You got a low trailer, three axles, and you gotta do a bunch of airline work. Just load it up with everything you need, all your fittings, hoses, wrenches, 
magnetic tray I got uh, some magnetic socket trays so you don't lose them and then picked up this magnetic flashlight from snap-on this week part number EC ARF052 the head pivots and as well as a twist so I thought that uh, be good for a job like this and uh, a new tool for my new tool cart so basically you just roll everything you need underneath there you know once you get your tools and yourself underneath there set up your light yeah, you can position it whatever way you want do whatever work you need to be done with once you're done you're not kicking it around the ground everything's contained it's not rolling around not getting all wet just shut your light off roll it out and follow along and that's the end of that job well everybody let me know what you think of this project in the comments section Hit that like button and subscribe. I've got more videos coming your way. Tool flyers, tool reviews, some other projects. I'm thinking of uh, stripping down my tool cart and building a whole new one. So that's it for tonight. Have a good night, everybody, and thanks for watching.